I've not left yet. My Muslim, I don't care that left for why I'm not there. The lifestyle, yeah, short cut, yes, in every move. Wife knows bang. But be the life of us in class, if you're the party boy, let's take Mr. Bob Stanner's letter. Two robberies to hijack. Fifty people are murdered each day in our communities. These people are individuals that we live with daily. Our parents, spouses, children, brothers and sisters. I am Oratile Chwaele. And I am Ndebo Moshwe And this is Itubalami, my rehabilitation path to new beginnings. It is clear that there is a trend of an increase in young people and violent offences. The people in the township, for instance, are going to not necessarily formal work, but by Bayopanda. What is that? They're trying to make a living. But if you look at the legal implications of it, it is a criminal offence. More young kids are involved in violent offences. We all know that there's a dark figure on crime statistics in general in respect of crimes that are never reported or may never be reported to the police. These and other crime statistics are indeed shocking. They serve as a stark reminder of how far we need to go to reduce crime and violence. With this gloomy picture in mind, just what would compel one to turn to a life of criminal behavior? My name is Tano Mukwena. I was born in Soweto and I was raised in a town called Enadel in the deep south. I've been living there since 1998, as long as I can remember. And I was raised there with five, four other siblings. I'm the third of the five. And my mother practically raised us on her, on her own. Ragana Tumsan Maposa gets one little go on the way to see a bus. Kohai no lemonade, Arho Laralevana is a family. No lemonade, just over around Kohai, Hovanabazoidi, Banabakohai. Can Nagamaka and then the Banabakohai Babatre. They are three, four eggs, one go high. Nag a second pond, Mobani Bakohai. Growing up with, with my family, we weren't very close especially myself and my mother after my father passed and we were very distant my mother especially myself and my mother we fight a lot and all such kind of things so they never knew what was going on in my life they only just knew that i went to school came back home they never knew any other things about me and when i got arrested it was a shock to everybody especially the community because everyone knew me as that guy who just does what's right but along the way, got to hell school. School is close to the me just to be around on bad company of friends. Yeah, so I ended up leaving school. Sometimes I live on about what I was with the Lord, one and garbage, what I was with the Panicha or any reservoir, no, or a bad try or one such a so. When I was told I was going to start the English teaching, I was going to teach the teaching. I was going to teach the English teaching. I was going to teach the English teaching. I was going to teach the English teaching. And then the next thing you know, it I was going to go to school. So it was a school. Growing up in Enidel for me personally was very difficult because the air is filled with crime, violence, and all such kind of things. So we are faced and we live in this thing every single day, from a small child up to you grow up. So things like violence and crime it becomes a norm to you, it becomes normal. And at home, like my mother, she done her best to raise us the proper way. So going from home, going into the street was very difficult because the two didn't, didn't mix, they didn't join together. So it was tough, but at the end of the day, you know, what your mother teaches you is the most important. And that's what I kept, that's what kept me alive in such a place. Gile uh, 2006. 14th of January. Okay, I was sentenced to 16 years. 31 of January 2007. I was arrested for attempted murder and position of unlicensed firearm. I was in a building in the house. 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 I
भयंकर कुड़ी होगी जगह साल पीजी कर का भयंकर वो खेल वगैरह लोग ले ना उस वर्ष ठूल तार ना के तो उस ठूल यानी जिन्हें के स्वर ऐसे क्रिमिनल जो स्वर उस ठूल है इंटेंशन या का उस वर्ष ठूल है ना इसे लोग के बाद लाहो बलाया मोट हो रहे के बाद लाहो ठूलिया मोट हो जस्ट इट वाज वो कि चूसे जब मोट हो बिको नो क्रिया से के स्वाद लांगे जब माये पर उल्लाह वाये जब हाला हो रहे यार ने जरूर ठूलिया ना मोह वाले मोट हो लोग हो रहे उस आपा के पुलेट अना वे अलगा मारा अपार्टमेंट या है सो ना मो लेना का ठूलिया है अभी ठूल I completed my matric, passed very well with a bursary, went off to go study at UJ. And when I came to UJ, it was more difficult for me because the lifestyle of UJ, at varsity life, was very difficult because people there had more money than what I believed I had. And I felt as if I deserved more. So I decided the best way is to resort to crime. And the one thing I loved the most, I loved cars. The people I grew up with in the area, most of them are people who steal cars and change cars and all such kind of things. So I thought that was the best way and I started doing that with these people. Got to UJ and I took a student's car and in so doing, <coughs> UJ you cannot leave the facility without the owner of the car's card. So what I had to do, I had to leave the place with the student. And because I was by myself, I had to put the student in the boot. And I tied the student up and put her in the boot and I left the place. And after driving some distance, I uh, went to the bank, took all the bank cards and withdrew all the money. And after so doing, I left her at a place, dropped her off and I just drove away. And then later the same day, that's when I was, I was found. And I got to read what happened to her. And as, she, as I read, she was very traumatized. She had to leave UJ. She couldn't attend there anymore because of all the trauma that I caused. So hopefully one day with one of the correctional services uh, programs, the restorative justice, I one day want to just, I hope one day to meet her and apologize for what I done. When they come here and they're introduced to spiritual care, it changes them. They are able to take responsibility for the wrongs they have done. Even though things have gone wrong, there is still hope for them. And that has changed their lives and they have a new attitude towards life. You look at the holistic human being, the spirituality of a person is essential. A person must be able to connect to God and be able to understand their purpose. And then when they understand that, then they can make peace with whatever they're experiencing. And they will understand that no matter how bad things get, everything can still work out for good when you know that God is on your side. Hold your head up high. Yes, you have made mistakes, but take responsibility. The issue with regard to victim-offender dialogue and victim-offender mediation. We need to start with it immediately after the offender has been admitted into our correctional facility. And that is why we, we, we came with the offender rehabilitation path. In other words, since admission up until the day we un unlock this person, we open our doors, uh, there is a definite path that he should have followed uh, that talks to uh, him uh, developing insight into his offending behavior but also participating in, in rehabilitation and skills development program. What I've learned in prison and the thing that brought me here to prison is outside we are impatient. Being young, you want things to be fast. Um, you want things to just be spontaneously there for you. We cannot wait 
we cannot see the future. Crime I patele for what? You commit a crime it will cost five minutes, but you have to pay for 16 years or for the rest of your life in prison for it. So crime it doesn't worth it at all. Through this program, we will challenge stereotypes and transform societal attitudes towards offenders. Itubalami, my rehabilitation path to new beginnings. Give us your tendon, your lubas tendon is lali matunge. Di banjwangue, your lubas tendon is lali matunge. Indian born man anga ba Indians, born anga ba man bendi akalu kwenye crime. Tenga tizi chome as Benzema lendo yabo. Kuzi metrongo na aguko lola paga tiabo. Kata kika ngomdo zazi born anga ba funandoni. Yakuaz born anga ba ubomba ko banga pande ubshe ipiongo gusela petrongo in born anga ba zizi ndo bencheli ndina zo even before ninge ni prison. But kengo go di endas vusele lango ba. Benufumani kisha, pata kwa nguo pande, au fumani kisha luba ukwazu kuinga, because usolo gune cho miabo. Somo sisi prison, ufumani kisha lo kuinga, lo bana nguo bungenza ndoni, yabo. Ifu zbone sisi usetrongo inunga zmisela nga, fune guza muk chinchu bomba ako, yabo. The correctional facilities are housed people who are in conflict with the law. Those people might be our brothers, our sisters, our fathers, our mothers, our cousins and our friends. Therefore, empowering them with the skills that we're giving to them, it gives them an opportunity to plow back to their communities that they come from. How do we deal, how do we reintegrate and reincorporate those offenders back into society so that they do not repeat the same mistakes? We have social workers, psychologists and psychiatrists, criminologists, whose main task is to develop a sentence plan. Now, that rehabilitation path is what informs the department as to what are the interventions that we have to put in place for this person so that once he's released, he's a law-abiding citizen. Boxball production workshops are created with a FMP CETA and the MES CETA, where we offer the different traits of uh, skills to offenders. We identify the offender to attend a training course on the different skills where he is interested in. 325 offenders received for the past two years accredited uh, qualification certificates on NQF level 1, 2 and 3, but also 31 offenders qualified in full with a red seal qualification in different trades here in the Boxburg facility. Kafiri thaka kwa kuhudwe kwenye kesi tazwe nengs, kesi tazwe lomba vitu adi tulusi, kesi tazwe nengs at all kwa hudwe, but just because of nengi ni peshine tega yana, okay? Kafiri thaka ituta, di tulusi, di lozenga thaka ituta, until kiti na kwenye nda pake tazwa. Today kwenye le trade certificate se longo re se accredited. Islam pule la diti la tazwa ata mogo pelo. Rile raba le graduation ceremony. For the certificate, it's already totting. Okay, the following day, I think, Baba Tlamutaga had an interview with Radio 702. My opponent said, I'm going to go to the hospital. Okay, this guy actually is passionate about what he's doing. So they decided to come, but I'm going to go to the interview. Okay, interview with the guy. You were John Robbie on 702. Well, this whole issue of rehabilitation of offenders and this artisan program that we've spoken about and had so much reaction to, but unless you deal with rehabilitation of offenders who have served their time, paid their debt, you're going to end up with people who re-offend. Um, this guy was being interviewed by John Robbie, and then I listened to him, and in fact, you know, I was very touched by the fact that he was arrested at the age of 22 and then he, he acknowledged the fact that he, he was a teenager and he did wrong. And I phoned 702 to say, listen, I think I will secure a job for the guy. And now we hear that in fact he has got parole and is going to start work. It is, it is fantastic. And in a, I think it's inspirational on all sorts of levels. And hopefully it means somebody who went off the rails 
with the help of all sorts of people, will now get back on the rails and, and get his life back together and become a, you know, constructive member of society. And then I think uh, for the future, let me go to a company in Horkiaka. One day, let me go to a company in The way it was in Spanga, then let me go to a change of people over somebody else. The Department of Correctional Services is working on developing juvenile centers into centers of excellence. In attempts of completing its mission, the department is working hand in hand with different stakeholders. This facility came as a result of a need that was identified by Correctional Services, Boxback that they have a lot of young offenders who are interested in receiving formal education, but there's no infrastructure. We then started lobbying as stakeholders to support us with that, and we are hoping that once we are done with the Boxback Juvenile School project, we can deploy the same amount of young offenders to the other correctional centers to do the same work with the help of the National Youth Development Agency. So it is very important to try and prepare young people who are incarcerated for a future beyond uh, the time that they spent in correctional centers. We prevent a situation where they reoffend and go back uh, into uh, criminal activities. When they come out of the prison, we can be able to assist them again as they know they, through our other programs like the grant funding program, we will be able to assist them to register companies or even cooperatives for that matter. Uh, right now I'm studying my LLP degree, I'm doing my second year in law. I wouldn't say it's easy, it's very challenging. You can't attend any classes, it's just you and the book. And then when time comes, it's just exams. There's no one that's going to force you to study, especially in this place. You sit in your cell, you have to make the decision for yourself that I'm going to open my books now, I'm going to study. You have to be dedicated to what you're doing and you have to also love it. So me, I enjoy law, I found it so far very interesting and it has kept me going all the way. Uh, I set short term goals. So last year my goal was to distinction in all of the modules I done. Unfortunately I couldn't, only got distinction for half. So this year, this year definitely, definitely I'm getting 10 distinctions. That's my short term goal. This is a testament that one should never let the past dictate their future. Indeed, rehabilitation is at the heart of the correctional services strategy for offenders. This is the opportunity, grab it. Make sure that you get out of that place having acquired certain knowledge and skill so that you can improve your life. And by improving your life, it means that you're now able to play a crucial role that South Africa expects you to play. I'm tired of being a criminal. With shame and disgrace, instead of putting this place, actually, I'm so I'm I'm excited about going to start about this new job. So I hope I will learn as much as possible, and then maybe they can learn something out of me as well. The program needs a lot of support, especially at resource level. For example, right now we're telling the story, we're showcasing the stories of what happens when government work together with communities and private sector in telling their stories but also in building the nation. Because <laughs> She was around three years, I think, yeah, I get some so no, we love her.
Natavile on Pona, Gena Gotel Nasampone, although Nat Latum visit a Gonegel Goteng, but Nagonelenia, no Horaka Spendal and Tata, just for one hour and Jay, Gena Gonia Nahol. Ke expect the Hore Avereke and to Kisetta La Palaka and then Ansele Makut. How could you say one? <laughs> I was once inspired by uh, the guy Bambiza who was a Pfisha, who was in the interview with radio. He was inspired by the guy who was as a shop packer. He was on the shelf of the guy. But I'm saying, he's the CEO of the Finisher City, mostly. He was on the vision of the vision and the goal of the Finisher City. Finisher. Since since from a early age, ke bona ntata ka anetsa yetsa ka re siling mo ntlong o iketseditse di khabete o iketseditse so nka no re nthoki nkile ko yena ke yetsa ka lerato la yona so ho ba le lerato la yona ke yona ntweng ka reng ya motivate or ke tswe each and every morning ke mo sebetseng ke tlo ba e bo lolo lena di skill tse ntsha tse ne ke sa ditsebe ka fenetsha le nna o re one day a ke re ka tswa go semulla company le nyaka Secondly, skill is finish in and out to get our words along more finishing. Game morning or ocean sheets, I shall let them sun all night, nail your yen appealing. Get them sun all watching sheets and on a little rotail and corre. The shade is changed, I shall let the tailor take it its ever. The island at Horakato. Since it's in Pumilin, I walk around the town on Pegaji, I'm a shop at Tinis and Matulus. Yeah, when I were quite expensive, I'm full of cool mamma, but I think the manager one day would namely stroll with singing Vulile away and become pan in Shinche in Pilos Avanto. I so wish in Jew would take Nava called Numuntu Oywan in Jeong and Neta. Achieving the cool lamile. Mama hidi ya pega ya matulu satura kakulu Ene nitize nje ma nyenza ilo Nyenza ikoteishi ni ya matulu Sa matulu se mwa tinga yo Rafli nje azo nkosta kwa matu ni 6,000 Ene will take me iskate site wuti ni achieve Lelo kuhulu leo wuti mkone wuti mwa afote lao matulu silao But one step at a time Awa fuwe wuti wuti pa sese kone machele Nya wata ila wuti banga give up ya life ini Iseken chansi kone mpilwe ni and so now, when we have programs with our renderisha legal correctional services, we are trying to with our charity. As communities, let's have faith in our offenders and support them as much as we can. Together, let's move South Africa forward. Sabah, Sabila.